Hey guys, I just wanted to do a, a quick video on my rain barrel setup. Um, I have a co-worker who's making his rain barrel system super complicated and uh, there seems to be a lot of that. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown on what I did. I have uh, two of these setups and then I have another barrel right there that I pump water, water into when these ones are full. So anyways, on this one side of the house, the north facing wall, I have my downspout coming into one barrel. It's pretty scuzzy. I didn't uh, get around to cleaning it this spring. And I've just got a two inch piece of uh, ABS, I guess it is. And it's on a bit of an angle. I cut some holes through these, uh, the wood boxes that I made. And it slopes down into here. I did have them siliconed at first, but if you want to move them to, to get to work on the barrels, like see now it's out, you wouldn't be able to. So uh, I pulled them out. I got to scrape that off so I can slide the pipe back that way. And uh, when this one fills, the water will automatically start to run down that one and into the other barrel. Um, you lose a little bit of water out the sides. Um, I, I suppose you could get a uni seal and, and seal it a little better and still be able to slide the pipes back and forth. I didn't bother. I, I just thought it was a bit too much work. And uh, yeah, this way I can slide. This one I have enough room to get a, um, a water watering can in, a two gallon can. And uh, I've got two of them laying on the ground there. And this one's the same. I just store my, uh, my fire ring up on it because I was planting grass out here. And it's the same. The water runs down from the south side of the house. It runs down in here, down in there, and it's filled. It's uh, super simple, no pumps, no electricity. Um, you could probably put a screen on top of them to help keep some of the mosquitoes from breeding and laying uh, their eggs in there. Um, I live in the country with nothing but swamps. So I don't think that my uh, four rain bar barrels are going to make a whole lot of difference for me so I don't worry about it too much uh, they're going to be gone in a little while anyways you could always drop you know a teaspoon or so of bleach in each one and that would probably kill everything but uh, that's my rain barrel system it's super simple um, I have a pump that I can water with um, I have a 12 volt pump and a 110 pump usually I use the 110 pump and uh, you know those are both all three beds are 8 by 16 and I use uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 gallons of water yeah 14 16 gallons of water in that ballpark uh, I don't water all the dirt it doesn't need to be wet you just need to water the, the uh, the plants and the seeds and uh, that's it so just a quick video on uh, on my rain barrels um, this way I don't have to water with my well saves the uh, drinking water for me simple video it's a simple system and uh, I'm a simple guy see you later